Hey everybody, Cecil here, and today I have a really good match versus uh, Ice Warrior from uh, T Flare. This was an OU match I had the uh, yesterday, and anyway, looking at his team, my Jolteon is definitely going to be able to just wreak havoc on his team. However, that Gastrodon is going to be a huge problem. Anyway, I lead off with my Rotom because, I don't know, I was really wasn't sure what to lead off with, so I decided to lead off with Rotom and hopefully be able to get off uh, Bolt Switch early on before he starts using his uh, Gastro a lot. Anyway, I Bolt Switch, I hit that uh, Tentacro with, and, kill, and I, right here I killed off this Tentacro really early in the match, which was really helpful. Because, uh, I don't know, what does, what did these things have? Anyway, this thing dies. Point is it's helpful, I didn't want it setting up any toxic slice or anything, that would have been horrible. But anyway, uh, I stay in, and he, uh, goes for a surf, does a lot of damage to me, surprisingly it doesn't take me down to my sash. Well, anyway, I go for the, uh, side shock on that Politoed, get some damage on it, which can be helpful for later. And right here, uh, he's shout and I switch out because I don't want to lose my uh, Alexam just said he sends in his uh, he sends in his Lapras. I go for the Will O Wisp as he goes for a Dragon Dance, and then I and then just hydration completely slapped me across the face. That pretty much means that this thing is going to be a huge pain, and it's also going to have to go down or at least weaken. Uh, to a certain point when I can send something in. But anyway, send in Zizzer, go for Bullet Punch, uh, hoping for some uh, super effective damage, but it's part water, so it's neutral damage anyway. Uh, he uh, goes into his... Uh, uh, don't forget, I don't remember the name. Anyway, I switch into Gliscor on his uh, will o -Wisp, which was really horrible for me because now I won't be able to get any poison heal for, uh, for my Gliscor. And here he goes for the pain splish. Uh, I go for the toxic, get that thing toxic, that's gonna be helpful. And uh, right now I'm just gonna set up my rocks so, you know, to like help me weaken that uh, Tornadus and Lapras. And right here I want to save my Gliscor later on for Death Water or to help me toxic that Gastrodom. Right here I send in uh, Zizor and I go for a Bullet Punch. I have no idea why I go for the bullet punch after seeing how much damage it did last time. But anyway, he goes for a rest, and that is a huge annoyance. Uh, hydration, such a uh, horrible ability if you're not prepared for it. And anyway, I switch out. I, I cannot afford to lose my scissor. My scissor is going to play a huge role later on. Or, yeah, later on, I guess. Anyway, I send my Rotom to take the incoming uh, water move go for a bolt switch try to get some damage on this thing and I switch into my Zizor hoping that uh, he just tries to set up again right here I'm confident that I can take at least one attack and go for the uh, superpower however he still got that uh, dust noir I'm just gonna call it dust noir all right so I can't safely go for the superpower so that's a big problem like you can already tell where this is heading. I mean, I gotta take down that Gastro, but before I can can take down a Gastro, I need to take down the Lapras, and before I can take down the Lapras, I gotta take down that freaking freaking Dusk Noir, so it's just the freaking cycle this match. Anyway, uh, send on my Jolteon, scare out that uh, Dusk Noir, go for the Shadow Ball, I'm not doing much. I, I don't want to lose my Jolteon because I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need it to clean up later on. I send in my uh, Latias to hopefully take some moves and then do some damage to this thing with a cycle a side shock since it's a since it attacks the physical side and I'm assuming that that gastro is especially offensive like most of them should be right here I go for it and I don't quite take out this uh, tornadoes which really sucks because I don't have speed and he takes me out and that really sucks anyway I send in my uh, Jolteon to finish this thing off I don't want to take any more necessary damage from this thing you know just finish that off right here he sends in his uh, Gastro I go for a Shadow Ball hoping that I get some kind of special defense drop or it does a lot but it doesn't and he goes for a Scald and that does quite a nice chunk to my uh, Jolteon I can't afford to lose this thing quite yet so I need to send out my Gliscor as a Death Water. Unfortunately, he recovers, and God, durr, why did he recover? Anyway, 
I switch out and go into my Zizzer predicting him to switch out into his Lapras to take the incoming Toxic since he'll be able to heal it off with Hydration. And right here I was contemplating whether to go for Pursuit or U-Turn and I should have gone for Pursuit uh, because this, uh, well for one I'm Choice Bandit so yeah so if I went for his Pursuit this uh, Dust Noir would have been dead already but I don't so I, I go for U-Turn uh, sw switched into my Jolteon and right here I over predict and switch right on to my Zizor as he goes for a pain split uh, unfortunately that's not gonna really help him out too much because uh, I'm still gonna be able to take out this uh, Dust Noir the only difference is that I got some damage on my Zizor anyway I take that Dust Noir out with uh, you know super effective and then Technician boosted I switch out because I don't want to lose my Zizor just yet. I'm gonna need that Zizor for uh, his Gastrodom and his Lapras. Anyway, send in Rotom, switch out Zizor. He goes for a Surf, and I believe this takes out my Zizor. Yep, it does, and that was really, really bad for me. Anyway, right here, I send out Rotom. I, he goes for a Surf, and I just go for the uh, Bolt Switch to finish off this Bolly Toad. And you know, just with him having that Gastro, it's not safe for me to have my Rotom out since Rotom is like uh, really horrible right now because Gastro can come in at any time I want it. Anyway, right here I go into my Jolteon as I uh, get swapped out from Bolt Switch and whatever. I go for a Shadow Ball and he, uh, hoping he doesn't go for Earth Power, but he does and he takes out my uh, Jolteon. So now everything is looking really horrible for me. It's pretty much a good game for me already because of how horrible things are uh, uh, I start doing some predictions here and you know switch out my Gliscor on his on his on uh, his Gastrodon predicting him to go into this thing to take the toxic and right here I and right here I do an unnecessary prediction I mean I should have seen this rest coming I'm, I, I'm pretty confident or he should have been pretty confident that uh, he could take the uh, Bolt switch, but anyway, I just go into the Lithgor predicting his Gastro. It's the end of the cycle right now. Anyway, he goes for Dragon Dance, and I, I go for what do I go for right now? I don't even know. I go for a Pain Split, you know, just just to hopefully try to get some damage and weaken this thing. Pain Split actually recovers like pretty much me, uh, brings me up all the way to pretty much all the way to full. He goes for a high, a waterfall and that gets crit. That really hurts my survivability right now. But go for a bolt switch to try to get some damage on this thing. And yeah, pretty much the only thing way I'm gonna win is if I can uh, get my his gastro toxic before this gl uh, Gliscor dies. But I, yeah, with that Gliscor dying, it's pretty much over for me it's over there's no possible way I see that I can possibly win you know I send in my Rotom go for bolt switch take out his uh, Lapras which you know brings it down to one on one with my Rotom and uh, and his Gastrodom so yeah this isn't the first time that th I've been in this situation where I couldn't do jack to uh to uh Gastrodon with a Rotom Wash. I've been in this situation before in a gym tryout match I had versus my like years and ages and years ago. But yeah, Rotom versus Rotom Wash versus Gastrodon. Yeah, no, no contest. Gastrodon walls this thing to hell. And yeah, that is good game, Ice Warrior. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and in the comments, if you please tell me if uh, if you guys like the layout, like with my my Pokemon and my opponents on the side, and then score. Like, do you guys like that, or because is that worth making? Because that takes some time. Like, like the way I do it, it takes me some time. I wish you could do it a little bit better, but no, I can't really do it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.